Welcome back to D2 Destinations. Today we will show you the approximate range you have on your Goldwing when the fuel warning light comes on. Uh, we're just out for a nice little ride in Tampa today and I wanted to pass along a little information on the fuel gauge. I was running the fuel as low as possible because uh, we're heading into a slower season here in Florida where it gets really, really hot and you have to pick your days between thunderstorms to ride. Unlike you guys up in uh, you know, Pennsylvania and Ohio when you put your bikes away for the winter, uh, down here we just slow down a little bit during the summer because of the heat, but uh, I was trying to get the fuel gauge as low as possible. And uh, it got down to right down here by the, the red and then suddenly the fuel light came on and I didn't know exactly how much fuel I had left. But when I filled it up at the pump with non-ethanol, it took 5.7 gallons. Uh, 5.7 go in. So the light had just come on. So you know you have just a little less than a gallon when the light's on solid. Now the tank supposedly holds 6.6. So uh, about 9 tenths of a gallon was still left in the tank when that light comes on. So that may be helpful for you guys to know if you're uh, out and about and you see that your fuel lights come on, you, you might want to think about finding a gas station. Because you only have around 30 miles of range to find a station. Today we're going to go over into Davis Island and check out the island. It's a really, really cool place. On into Davis Island Boulevard on the island and up here you'll see a, a lot of great little restaurants and bars. It's a fun place to visit. The island also has a general aviation airport which we'll go by as well as a sailing club at the uh, yacht club out here. It also has a boat launch so and a dog park and uh, a couple other parks for the kids so if you want to uh, spend a really really pleasant day uh, come on out to Davis Island. It's, uh, it's a really nice place. There's uh, a few restaurants right here on the right hand side. There's Thai Island. Homeworks, the coffee bar. 220 East. That is a fantastic restaurant with great food. I recommend that place. Uh, you can also go here to the Island Fusion and Sushi. Right here on the right you have the Anchor Tavern as well as Molly Malone's Irish Pub. Two great little places here on the island. On our left here, this is the Peter O'Knight Airport. It's a general aviation airport and it's really close to downtown Tampa. So if you do have your own plane and you want the closest airport to land in, uh, rather than going out to St. Pete Clearwater or uh, Clearwater Air Park, you can come over here to Peter O'Knight, right downtown in, on Davis Islands. Okay, and welcome out to Peter O'Knight Airport. This is a great little airport where a bunch of general aviation planes come in and out each day. Um, I actually took my first pilot's lesson right here at this airport. It sounds like somebody is uh, getting ready to go, so we'll try and get that on film for you. And uh, if you need to drop in close to Tampa with your private airplane, this is the place to do it. And there we go. He's taking off right now. Looks like a nice little uh, Cessna 172. And now we have another one taxiing in. And here comes a 172 in for a landing. You can hear him touch down. Looks like this one might be a full stop. And here we have another airplane taking off already. The Peter O'Knight Airport is a busy little airport today. Here's the airport terminal and parking lot. You can see the sign right up front here, Peter O'Knight Airport. Here you see there's a lot of sailboats moored out in this little bay area just across from Peter O'Knight Airport. So straight ahead here is the Davis Island Yacht Club clubhouse. You can see all the racing sailboats out here for the regattas that they have. City of Tampa's in the background over there. Overall, this is just a beautiful little marina down here on Davis Island. 
looks like the storms are starting to bubble up a little bit uh, east southeast of Tampa so we're gonna start to head back looks like quite a few boats have made it out today and there it is the boat launch now you can take that right up to the Tampa Convention Center and then on up the Hillsborough River for a nice day ride right up there you can see the Tampa skyline so as you can see uh, out here on Davis Island near the Peter O'Knight Airport there's plenty to see and do the airplanes taken off go on the sailboats some power boats come up in here you can launch your boat go up to the Hillsborough River in Tampa easy access from here and there's a plane getting ready to take off again and if you have a bicycle it's just a lovely place to come out for a bike ride as well there's a nice park sometimes they have events set up here for the kids but today it's just a leisurely stroll in the park kind of day you'll also find some beautiful homes here on Davis Island so if you're moving into the area and you want some of the uh, best real estate in town some of that's right here on Davis Island as a matter of fact uh, many of you know when Tom Brady was the quarterback for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers he lived here in Derek Jeter's house on Davis Island well thanks for coming along today with D2 Destinations loved having you along hopefully you learned a little something about Davis Island today so remember to like and subscribe we really really appreciate you guys support and we'll talk to you next time on D2 Destinations. And remember, you only have about 30 miles to find a gas station when that warning light comes on on your Goldwing.